Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss what are chromophores, oxochromes, and what are different factors that affect lambda max. So, first of all, we will study what are chromophores. Chromophore means color importing. These are the groups which are responsible for electronic transition, or we can say that these are responsible for importing color by absorbing different electromagnetic radiations so these chromophores are responsible for the absorption of the different wavelengths of electromagnetic radiations the color of the compound depends on type of the wavelength which is absorbed from the white light the remaining spectrum imparts color for example if blue radiation is absorbed, it will transmit yellow radiation, which is called complementary color. So, what are different chromophores? These are like alkenes, double bond. The example is ethylene and its lambda max in nanometer is 171 nanometer and its electronic transition is pi to pi star. Acetylenic bond or triple bond example is acetylene its lambda max is 173 nanometer and electronic transition is pi to pi star carbonyl group the example is acetaldehyde which has three lambda max 160 nanometer which is due to n to sigma star 180 nanometer from pi to pi star and 290 nanometer which is n to pi star so as long as the difference in energy level from homo to lomo decreases the wavelength increases or bathochromic effect which we discuss in later in the video nitro group nitromethane is an example it has two lambda max 201 nanometer and 274 nanometer from pi to pi star or n to pi star Nitrile group example is acetonitrile 167 lambda max pi to pi star and azo group azomethane 338 nanometer is the lambda max and transition is n to pi star and then benzene ring example is benzene which is the aromatic compound 254 nanometer is the lambda max and the electronic transition is from pi to pi star oxochromes what are the oxochromes oxochromes are that compounds which impart which increases the conjugation of the chromophores so by word it means that oxo mean increase chromes mean color so they intensify the color of the compounds so how we can define it certain functional groups which show absorbance below 200 nanometer but when attached to the other chromophores shift their absorption towards longer wavelength such groups are called oxochromes so oxochromes itself have lambda max below 200 nanometer but when they are attached to the other chromophores they increases are their wavelength absorption so they contain non-bonding electrons which they share to the chromophores and extend their conjugation for example hydroxyl group amino group thiol group etc and this effect is called redshift or bathochromic effect what is the bathochromic effect when oxochromes shift lambda max to the longer wavelength it causes redshift or bathochromic effect for example benzene absorbs at 254 nanometer and aniline when nh2 is attached with this group an oxochrome it shift its wavelength to 280 nanometer the another effect which is opposite or vice versa of this bathochromic effect is blue shift or hypsochromic effect blue shift is 
if the lambda max is shifted towards shorter wavelength due to removal of the conjugation or some other reasons the phenomena is called hypsochromic effect or blue shift for example we have acetaldehyde a compound its lambda max is 290 nanometer with tra electronic transition of n to pi star if in case of acetamide this hydrogen is replaced with another group which is amino group having lone pair of electron and it causes resonance and electronic induction due to this its wavelength is shifted to from 290 to 220 nanometer which is blue shift because of the electronic transition which occurs from pi to pi star not from n to pi star similarly if the hydroxyl group is attached it is called acetic acid and its lambda max decreases again <coughs> due to pi to pi transition now the another terminology which is hyperchromic or hypochromic effect hyperchromic effect increased in absorption intensity or we can say that molar absorptivity which is epsilon naught which is epsilon in uh, we observed in beer lambert law ecl so epsilon is the molar absorptivity and it is increased which represents the intensity of the peak and hypochromic effect is the decreased in absorption intensity so decreased in absorption intensity is the hypochromic effect so now what are the factors that affect lambda max first is the effect of conjugation effect of oxochromes that we study in in this video and effect of solvent effect of solvent was studied in our previous video that how it affects our lambda max so in this video we will study the effect of conjugation so what is conjugation conjugation in, in conjugation simply we say that alternate single are, and are double bond but in case in, uh, in case uh, we are going to represent that how how we can explain it scientifically so each carbon is sp2 hybridized the geometry is trigonal planar and the pi electrons are delocalized and the partial double bond is 148 picometer length or 1.48 angstrom so here we have energy level diagram which represents the effect of conjugation for example we have ethylene and in ethylene the electronic transition occurs from pi to pi star and the difference in energy level from ground state homo to lumo that is delta e1 if the conjugation increases like an in example of butadiene so when the conjugation increases there are two pi and two in a pi bonding and there are two pi anti bonding molecular orbitals pi 1 pi 2 are bonding and pi 1 star and pi 2 star are anti bonding so the difference between these so the rule is that the electronic transition occur from highest occupied molecular orbital to lowest unoccupied molecular orbital which is called homo uh, and lumo so from homo to lumo the energy difference or the energy gap decreases therefore delta e2 in this case the wavelength absorption will be in longer wavelength so this compound absorbs at longer wavelength in third case the conjugation increases more for example hexatriene in this case there are three pi and three pi anti bonding molecular orbitals and the difference between homo to lomo decreases more which is represented with delta e3 so in this case the absorption of the the lambda max will be shifted towards more towards the longer wavelength so electronic excitation occurs from homo to lumo here we have shown the summary of the absorption and absorption intensity and absorption position so first di uh, diagram first graph represents the 
change in absorption intensity let's for example here on x-axis we have lambda and on y-axis we have absorption or optical density which represents the intensity or molar absorptivity if the intensity of the peak increases or decreases it will be let's suppose we have a compound with molar absorptivity of this one or intensity of our absorption and the lambda max is at this position on x-axis here and if its intensity increases the molar absorptivity will be shifted to the high value and it is called hyperchromic effect and if intensity of the peak decreases then it is called hypochromic effect so the intensity change affects the molar absorptivity or intensity of the peak not lambda max but in case <coughs> the absorption position the change in absorption position affects lambda max again here in this graph here on x-axis is the wavelength on y-axis is the absorption intensity and in this case a compound having lambda max at this position which represents on x-axis in case of bathochromic effect this lambda max will be shifted towards the longer wavelength here we have longer wavelength which is called red shift in case of blue shift or hypsochromic effect the lambda max will be shifted towards the shorter wavelength which is represented with this lambda max so in in this gra uh, graph we have represented that what are the pathochromic and hypsochrome effect effect on the lambda max in next video we will study what is the woodward pfizer rule and how we can theoretically measure the lambda max of compounds or we can calculate how we can calculate the lambda max for certain compounds thanks